So for some of you seeing this clip, you'll instantaneously know the answer and say, Mike, that's such an easy question. OMG, relax. I know you're amazing, but a lot of people aren't going to know this instantly. Very high yield clip here. And we could talk for 44 minutes about every little fucking detail about every one of these answer choices, but I'm going to stay consolidated. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. And find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the fucking clip. So 23-year-old man, he's a two-month history of pain and swelling over his left distal femur. ALP activity is elevated. And x-rays show spiculated new bone formation and subperiosteal elevation. The reason I wrote the x-ray description out verbally is because... The, USM, the USMLE most of the time doesn't expect you to be a fucking radiologist, okay? We show the findings here. This star on the x-ray, if you can make it out, depending on whether you're looking at this on your phone or your, or your tablet or laptop, this star literally is supposed to represent the sunburst appearance, spiculated new bone formation. And this arrow, this is a Codman triangle. This is periosteal, or sorry, subperiosteal elevation. The combination of these findings, this is very buzzy for osteosarcoma, okay? So not a hard diagnosis initially. That's where some of you guys are like, OMG, so easy. But then we have the genetics, okay? And I mean, some of you are definitely early in your step one prep and you want me to talk a little bit about this stuff. I'll be real fucking clean and concise though. So let's just go backwards to the answer choices here. 22Q11 deletion, wrong fucking answer. This is DeGeorge syndrome, okay? I mean, this is classically... Uh, third and fourth pharyngeal pouch agenesis, uh, hypocalcemia due to parathyroid agenesis. And uh, so, yeah, hypocalcemia and also cleft lip, cleft palate, uh, T cell deficiency, tetralogy of Fallot, okay? A lot we can talk about. Uh, T1517 translocation, wrong fucking answer. This is acute promyelocytic leukemia, APL, aka. Uh, acute myelogenous leukemia, M3, AML, M3. This this is the one with the hour rods, classically, okay? So if you get a leukemia and you see an hour rod uh, in a blast cell on an image, that's just APL, okay? Treat with all transretinoic acid. Uh, next one, 1418 translocation, wrong fucking answer. This is follicular lymphoma. This is BCL2 mutation. Uh, it's an anti-apoptotic molecule. Follicular lymphoma, waxing and waning, uh, neck swelling over two plus years. It's the most common, most common indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Next one, 1122 translocation, wrong answer. This refers to Ewing sarcoma. This is a pediatric bone tumor that actually presents similarly to osteomyelitis. Okay, it can present with fever and bone pain. Uh, looks, it'll present similarly to an infection, but uh, this is Ewing sarcoma, small blue cells, uh, onion ring appearance, uh, 1122 translocation. Next one, 922 translocation, wrong answer. This is Philadelphia chromosome, uh, chronic myelogenous leukemia, CML. Uh, this will be the answer when you get a smear that shows you what looks like a motley mix, ton of different cells, and you're going to have metamyelocytes, myelocytes, promyelocytes, a lot of weird sounding cells that all have myelo in them. Uh, that's CML and low leukocyte alkaline phosphatase activity. In contrast, leukemoid reaction high, leukocyte ALP. Uh, next one, 814 translocation, wrong answer. This is Burkitt lymphoma. Uh, this is the same thing as c Mike choice A, all right? So Burkitt lymphoma, c Mike is a transcription factor. This will classically cause Burkitt in the jaw of an African boy. That's your stereotypical textbook finding. It can also be abdominal in uh, Western countries in particular. Although abdominal burka is growing in Africa, uh, I've seen this actually for uh, Kyle, a chylus accumulation within the peritoneal cavity in a 2CK surgery question. There was a lymphoma, an abdominal lymphoma with chylus accumulation. And I was like, oh, that's fucking burka. They didn't assess burka directly, but I just thought it was interesting that it actually showed up in USMLE that way. The answer here is RB mutation, retinoblastoma G mutation. Now you say, that's weird. Doesn't that cause... Uh, retinoblastoma of the eye? Yes. Okay. Now what USMLE is going to do, this is basic past level stuff. Okay. They'll give you a one-year-old. They might show you an image of the leukocoria, the white eye reflex, which is easy for congenital retinoblastoma. And the answer could just be RB mutation. Okay. Or they could say, what is the kid at increased risk for later in life? And the answer is 
osteosarcoma, okay? So retinoblastoma gene mutation can cause both congenital retinoblastoma of the eye as well as osteosarcoma later in life. And the same question right here as I wrote, they could have just said, what, what is most likely in this patient's history? And the answer could just be enucleation of the eye at age one, okay? Now, as I, as I preface the start of this clip, uh, there's going to be some of you who see my stuff who are further along, find this very easy. Other, uh, other people here, I know you want more description, more uh, lengthy info regarding some of these uh, translocations in particular, but we have to strike a balance. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.